Lots of female firsts taking place this year at Eastman School of Music. For the first time, the school is offering a jazz vocalist program. It's taught by a Grammy award-winning female artist. And for the first time, the jazz department has a full-time female professor. How the duo is now, the duo is hoping to inspire girls and young women in Rochester to join them in an often male-dominated profession. Sarah Gazarik and Christine Jensen's performance during convocation last August signaled change at Eastman School of Music. A lot of firsts happening. We have our inaugural class of jazz voice majors. Eastman recruited the Grammy Award winning artists to design the vocal jazz program. And it's exciting to see those light bulbs go off in young minds. When Gazarik studied jazz in college, she was one of two females in a program dominated by male students and professors. To look around the room and, and just see this sort of like collegiate legit thing that was happening between them and feeling a little bit like an outsider. It continues and in my professional career as well. And that gap between female and male instrumentalists is even wider. Christine Jensen plays the sax and is the first tenured track female faculty member in the jazz and contemporary media department. She points out that in middle school, girls make up half the jazz band, but by the end of high school, females make up only a third of the jazz musicians. And at top U.S. music schools such as Eastman, the numbers are even lower. Later this month, Eastman is hosting a free two-day event, Sisters in Jazz. Young women 11 to 21 are invited to participate in a weekend of workshops and performances by world-renowned female artists like bassist India Owens. Brandi Younger is a harpist, so like a black classically trained jazz musician harpist. Young people looking on that stage and seeing themselves reflected. The artists will share their sounds and stories in a space intentionally designed to inspire more young females to experience the joys of jazz.